coming from a French background, I have a huge repertoire of different tarts and quiches. And this one would have to be one of my favourites. I'm going to make a tomato and feta tart with zucchini. And I want to show you how to make a short crust pastry from scratch. It's one of those main techniques that once you've made it once and you've nailed it, you'll always make your own pastry, short crust pastry that is. Now I like to use a soft, low protein plain flour and it is perfect for pastries just like this. So 250 grams of the pastry into a food processor. You can do this by hand if you like, but I find it much faster to do it in a food processor. To this, I'll add some unsalted butter. And you want your butter to be really cold when you're making pastry like this. So the general rule with short crust pastry is half the fat to flour. Meaning, if you've got 250 grams of plain flour, you're going to need 125 grams of butter. And the cold butter ensures we're going to get a crumb-like consistency, so make sure it's nice and cold and cut it into little cubes, just like I'm doing. Okay, so we'll add that to our flour. And this is where you could be slightly adventurous with the flavouring. So if you wanted, you could add some nutmeg to this stage. You could add a little bit of cheese. We need a pinch of salt. The lid goes on, add one egg and some water and just allow it to bind into a ball of dough. Okay, this has formed a beautiful dough. It's not overworked. You don't want to overwork the protein. Now we can remove it from our food processor and we need to chill it. So just roll it, pat it into a disc and you just want it to relax in the fridge. You don't want to roll it straight away. It's also impossible to roll because it is quite sticky. So we need that butter to firm up quite a lot. So into the fridge for about half an hour. Okay, while the pastry is chilling, I'm going to get onto the filling. So into a pan, we'll add some extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to saute off some onion and some zucchini. Now, I like this combination, but you can change it to uh, some capsicum. Eggplant is also a great option, even mushrooms. So we're going to soften that slightly and some zucchini. We're going to cut that straight down the centre and the other one. And they look quite large, but they really do cook down significantly. Turn them over and we're going to cut them into half moons. So my little trick is just putting them together and it just saves. You're doing two at once and getting them all chopped. I'm also adding some tomatoes to this. And when the tomatoes aren't as sweet as they usually are in summer, my little trick is just roasting them low and slow. Yes, it is another step, but it's well worth it. You can see here that I've just slowly roasted them in the oven so they're really soft and sweet, but they're still holding their shape. They're holding their shape because of that low temperature. So if you had to cook these fast at a high temperature, they'll break up too fast. So that's my little trick. If you wanted to cut this out, of course, you can just add cherry tomatoes in as is. So in with our zucchini. And the last handful in, and we'll give that a really good toss to coat it in the onions, and we'll just let that cook nicely. Now, the custard, this is going to bind everything together. It's a savoury custard, so it's a combination of eggs. I'm using four eggs, but it really depends on how large your tart tin is. You may need one more or one less. So I'm using a 26 centimetre tart tin, so this is the perfect amount. And you can use milk for this, but to give it that really velvety finish, I love the addition of some thickened cream. So we'll add some cream, a good drizzle of that in there, and always some salt. And we'll give that a really good whisk. And that's as simple as it is when it comes to a savoury custard. That's all you need. OK, we're going to wait for this to finish cooking. And then I'm going to add some mint to it, always at the last minute so it stays nice and fresh. And then I can start rolling out my pastry. OK, 
Okay, this pastry is looking good now. I always like to roll it between two pieces of baking paper. It just makes it so much easier. And you want it to be about three millimetres thick. So here it is here. And you can see there's some speckles of butter in there. That is a good sign of a good pastry. Now, I always like to just dust it with a little more flour, just the smallest amount, because I want to roll it onto my rolling pin. It's just going to make it much easier to transfer to the tin. So on to the rolling pin, we'll grab our tin. And this one has a loose base, which is going to make it easy to demold later on. So we'll just take that off and then we can roll it straight onto our tin. And we'll start on one side and then carefully roll it out. Now, if it breaks up slightly, do not worry. You can patchwork it. It will still work. And then with the excess, just use the palm of your hand just to shape the sides. The key, though, is to get that pastry right into the edges so we form the perfect tart shell. Now, you can blind bake this if you want to, but I'm going to cut that step out. Because I've got lots of vegetables and a very little amount of liquid, I feel it doesn't need it at all. OK, that is ready to go. We'll pop that onto a tray and let's start filling this tart. So we need to add some of our beautiful mint to our cool-down zucchini. You can chop it if you like. I'm just going to tear it straight into our pan, it smells so good. Think of this combination. You've got zucchini, mint, tomatoes, feta, they all work in harmony together. So we're going to add this cool mixture to our tart tin and spread the zucchini around so we've got a nice even base. And the tomatoes, these have also been cooled down. We just want to dot them in and around the zucchini. This is two punnets of cherry tomatoes. So we're really packing it in there. Look at those colours. How good does that look? Fantastic. And our feta. We want half a block of feta. And I like sort of medium chunks so we can see it as it bakes. And again, dotting that around. And now we're going to use our custard as the glue. So very carefully, I'm going to pour that in just in and around. Just go really slowly with this. We're just wanting a nice even amount between all the vegetables and cheese. I am pretty happy with that. So this now goes into the oven, 180 degrees. Pop this onto a tray just in case some of that egg seeps out. Also pop this on the lowest rack in the oven so we get a nice colour on the base of the tart. Well, I'm pretty impressed with this beautiful tart. You can see how chunky it is with all those tomatoes, zucchini, and the feta has held its shape. Now, do allow it to cool slightly before demolding it. This is a tart that is fantastic, hot or cold, and this is why we love these detachable tart tins. We'll pop that onto the plate, but I'll just very carefully place a knife underneath just to remove that disc, and that should come off easily. Oh. Look at that. It's always a sense of achievement when you've made a tart from scratch. So making the pastry yourself, filling it and cooking it. I want to cut a slice out just to show you how perfectly cooked it is. So straight down the centre. I can feel that that pastry is nice and crispy, flaky. And look at that, perfectly cooked. This is one of those dishes that you can take to a picnic and everyone is going to love it. It's filling, it's satisfying to make, and yes, there is a bit of work, but I tell you what, absolutely worth it.